hey what's going on my name is serrano and welcome back to the channel if you're new to the crew subscribe get notified for more videos just like this um but join the crew and stay with me because we're going to talk about motorola now motorola has been on their a game for many years now they've been producing phones with really good batteries really good software and even good designs as well now it's no different with their newest smartphone and latest smartphone released in september 2020 it's the moto e7 plus so this one has six gigabytes 64 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of memory so that's pretty decent um it also does have a snapdragon 460 which is an 11 um, nanometer processing chip 48 megapixel camera as well as a two megapixel for depth shots 5000 milliamp hour battery and a night camera let's go ahead and take a look at this see what it's all about this is motorola's newest budget phone i've had the e5 plus and it was a really solid device well let's cut open the package and see what they're offering for their latest device and um you know i'm pretty excited as always to check out a new smartphone from motorola and this should be interesting um i paid with this for with my own money so i'm really excited to check this out so let's go ahead and see what comes in the box for the very first time when you're looking at it and you're gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look at the the accoutrements inside of here so let's go ahead and see what comes in the box along with the smartphone so I just want to make sure I cut all the seals here and then slide this out. Um, okay, so I think you have to pull it up from the front right here. There it is. And then you're automatically greeted with the phone right up top. And up top it says the 48 megapixel camera system and night vision. So uh, we're going to have this really nice color that it's going to come in. Uh, it's going to be like this golden orange color. Let's go ahead and see what comes inside of the box bow. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys see it. This is like, uh, like it's like, a, it's, if, if, if you see this for the very first time, you're going to think about Abraham Lincoln and the copper penny. Uh, it's got that copper vibe to it. Let me put it in some more light just to really see what this thing is looking like. It has like a bronze finish to it, almost has a brown, a brown um, and has some orange in there. So I really like that color that they, they gave us. It's like a really orangey kind of bronze brownish color. Like, let me sh see if you can see that. And also inside of the box, we do get some added um accessories so let's go ahead and take a look at that i'm gonna put the this phone off to the side you get your sim tray remover tool right here and you get your moto e plus pamphlet they do give you a wall brick now this phone also only supports 10 watts so just bear that in mind and let's just see what we get right here i'm hoping that this is type c and Let's just peel this off. And wow, this is actually micro USB, which is weird. So I wasn't expecting that, uh, but you know, uh, let's take a look at everything else that comes inside of here as well. And that's pretty much everything in the box. So nothing else inside of there. You got your, your, your charger, <coughs> Apple. You got your, the charging brick, you got your cable, and you got your information here and you got your pamphlets and you got your phone. Now this feels really good in the hand if you ask me. It has a really nice feel. It has a tall aspect ratio. Feels really nice in the hand as well. The weight is pretty cool on here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is peel off the top screen protector. It says 5,000 milliamp hour battery, days of power, uh, the octa-core processing chip, four gigabytes of internal RAM. Let's put that off to the side and then let's give this thing some juice. Uh, wow, a textured power button right here. So that's actually awesome. They put a textured power button on here. Volume rockers are one button and then you got this button right up here, 
which looks like you can designate that as something of its of your own preference we also do get this little peel tab for the camera as well so that's kind of cool and um you can see that the moto fingerprint lo the moto logo is in the fingerprint i'm gonna hit some the power button on this thing give it some juice see what the power screen looks like that looks really cool so they have updated their their boot up menu so you can see that looks really really cool uh definitely looking forward to seeing how this looks when you set it up for the first time i'm gonna put my sim card in in the next video just because you know i don't want to waste time whoa that looks Hello, that looks crazy i like how they did that um then you got your hi there screen they really did a good job here the the black bars on the side are a little um you know they, they you they you can see them 270 pixels per inch so pretty decent 720 display on here um as far as the 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 uh the wi-fi let me just see if there's any five gigahertz bands that are being um offered here so i'm not seeing any five gigahertz wi-fi bands on here they they, they did cut uh they did definitely um make two shortcomings that i can see here now you do get your headphone jack up top but you don't get the five gigahertz wi-fi band and you don't get type c for charging you get micro usb a really nice speaker grill down here with a noise cancellation mic i really like the build quality of it it really looks um we're only able to connect to the regular wi-fi not the five gigahertz wi-fi which is not the biggest um complaint ever that i've ever made in the world it does allow you to enter your fingerprint right now um let's set that up now i really like the, the form fact that it's in my hand it just it feels perfect the back of it also i actually forgot to mention that the back of this phone has a satin finish they've been coming out with these satin finishes on these phones well that was a really quick um fingerprint uh setup so the the back of here has a satin finish you can't even get that messed up there's no fingerprints to you can't um attract them on here satin finish this is my one of my favorite finishes besides leather and besides um yeah leather is my favorite material on the back of a phone then it's giving you give it a try and swipe up to go to the home screen and set up your preferences here so they give you a live wallpaper right off jump this looks um fire well it, it was live and then now it's just Oh, I see what they're doing here. That's fire. So the wallpaper kind of just has this really nice vibe to it or a sick vibe to it. The screen actually has this really narrow, um, kind of reminds me of a motor. If this was, if this could fold down center, this would look dead seriously like a Motorola Razor, how they did that. Like it's so narrow, but, um, you get your moto gestures in here um right here you could choose between your wallpapers your, your your styles your icons as well let's see get started so yeah unless you customize the icons just like a google device so really stock in that aspect you also do get your google apps on here very stock no bloatware whatsoever um let's go down here and i'm going to show you down here you also do get your uh let's go to the system so i can show you the storage that was used um let me see storage so the system uses 15 i'm, I'm kind of surprised with that i'm not uh, let me see if that works out of box oh wow so you do get that flashlight for the chop and then the flip to camera go to the camera right now and check out that 48 megapixel and then i'll go outside and take some photos with you guys so there is a night mode on here you do get spot color which actually let you choose between black and white and color in certain aspects cut out portrait panorama live filter mode which is cool slow mo and time lapse now let's see what the highest uh setting you can get on the camera full hd and you get full hd 60 frames per second and full hd 20 by 9 aspect ratio on here so really cool to see that on here you also do get a watermark as well so i'm going to put that on here so when i take some photos you can see that and
that nature. It's actually raining right now, so a like would be massive right now. I am actually have no umbrella and I'm getting wet and I'm getting this phone wet, so a like would be incredible. Okay guys, so this thing is getting wet, but hopefully it survives in the rain, rain test. And then you can see this is how the photos come out. 